Live from Los Angeles, here's Every Way Woman. We're back with Roxy, but before we get started on your three basic moves, I'm dying to know what you've been up to since we last saw you. What, I, what have I been up to? Well, um, I just recently competed once again. Awesome. Um, yeah, I did the NPC tournament tournament of champions, and I won the entire show. I oh, won the overall trail. That's fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, it was a really great um, honor and victory. Uh, it was actually the first show I had done in 2010, so to come back and win that same show was a real treat. Oh, That's awesome. well you look fantastic. So Thank you very congratulations much. Congratulations on that. Thank you. And now how can we look just like you? <laughs> 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 what will get you on the road to looking just like me? I've got three really great moves I'd like to share with everyone today. Okay. Um, and the first move that we're going to do, you know, a lot of women talk about abs and they want that six pack. Mm -hmm. Well, six packs are, ac are actually built in the kitchen with how you're eating, but to get that stomach nice and tight through exercise, I've got a great dynamic core exercise called the cross crawl. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to do, you're going to start with your feet about shoulder or hip width apart, and you want those arms up nice and high about shoulder width apart. And it's a very simple move. All you're going to do is bring the opposite arm and leg in with a slight crunch in the stomach and then bring it right back down again so it's straight in and right back out. Now I love this one because you're going to really feel like the abs are burning when you get a lot of reps in there but also it's going to force you to work on balance you know and it's also going to get your heart rate up as well so it's one of those bang for your buck exercises and you want to try to really move your body as one unit because when you're moving everything as one unit instead of just doing let's say crunches and sit-ups and stuff like that you really get to get the full development of the body and that's what we want biggest bang least amount of time so that's exercise number one okay awesome. okay exercise number two every woman wants nice legs and butts right Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to do some squats, all right? Saw <laughs> <laughs> your My face favorite. <laughs> so don't be afraid of squats. Squats are probably one of the best things that you can do for your legs, actually. And squats are very easy once you know how to execute them. So what I like to say is you're going to start with the feet about hip width apart, maybe a little bit wider than that, and point your toes just very slightly outwards, okay? We're going to do very basic. Think about sitting in a chair. So your hands are going to reach out in front of you. You're going to draw that belly in. And you're just going to sit back just like you're sitting down in a chair. And then you're going to stand right back up again. So it's straight down and right back up. Now the tendency for a lot of people that are doing squats for the first time is to let the knees collapse in like that. You don't want that to happen. You want to make sure those knees stay tracked over the toes. And also, make sure they don't push out too wide either. Okay. So if your knees stay over your toes when you're going up and down into that squat, and you're sitting the butt back, you press up through the heels when you stand up, you're gonna really great some, get some great development for the legs. Uh -huh. Doing about 12 to 15 reps to start with that is great for any beginner. Okay, okay. Cool. Yeah. good, great. So then my third exercise for my ladies. <laughs> I have a client, she calls these things right under here the Meshuggah arms, you know, they start jiggling and all that stuff. <laughs> so we all want that nice tight tricep, right? Mm -hmm. Very exactly. basic exercise we have, tricep dip. So what you can do is just get a chair, a bench or anything that's about hip level, maybe a little bit lower, and you're just going to sit down on it, Put your hands right by your side. You're going to scoot off off the edge of the chair. You're going to bend your elbows down. Now, as you bend, you want to think about bending, bending them to a 90 degree angle. And then you're going to press straight up again. All right. And when you press up, you really want to feel like you're getting those triceps back there right in here, nice and long. So it's, once again, straight down and bringing it right back up. And try not to move the hips too much. You don't want this thing going on with those <laughs> hips going up and down. Keep those hips nice and low, pushing right back up and down. Okay. And with this, again, you want to do about 12 to 15 reps just to start off. And then as you get more and more advanced with it, you can draw different variations. And you don't need a gym exercise. membership to do any of yeah, these absolutely. moves. Yeah, these are yeah, home that's great. You can definitely do these at home, at the park, or Wonderful. wherever it's convenient great. for you. And so it's good for a busy stay-at-home mom. Absolutely. Sure. Mm -hmm great for anyone. Great. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for those wonderful tips. Absolutely. And as a, for a successful, that's the key word, <laughs> success, because there's so many out there, but we want ones that can work for us and nutrition as well. Absolutely. Thank you. You're welcome. And thank you for joining us for another Every Way Woman. Please let us know if you have any comments about this topic or any others at everywaywoman.com or sign up for our newsletter. It's got great information as well.